Hello, you absolutely lovely bunch. No respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So in this video, we're going to be making, or rather building around, the CD Shed. Uh, so those who don't know, the CD Shed is a new structure that has just been added to the Atom Store. Well, actually a couple of days ago, because I'm a little bit late on this one. And it's pretty cool. It's a pre-existing, um, kind of pre-built structure. Comes to the door, and you basically just get a quite... Wow, a CD shed. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, so what we're we doing, this will be quite a quick build, because one thing I like about this, and already it seems to be other people are doing the similar thing, which is this makes for a really nice, simple, small player home. Um, and also, one thing I was playing around with, as I'll just quickly demonstrate here, is it can actually be put quite easily into a blueprint. And we're actually building this structure, but making it a bit more. Um, we'll be decorating it a little bit. But basically, I'm going to turn this into my little blueprint home. Um, one thing is, there has been a bit of data mining uh, of a little image pop up now. Um, and basically, there have been a few more of these structures um, are going to be appearing on the store in the foreseeable future. The one that I just had pop up is one of the... Uh, log cabins from foundation. So this is gonna be quite cool. Um, there's quite a lot of neat stuff are coming I like this kind of thing because it's just nice because of the fact the way we we place camps in Fallout 76 You're know, replacing down all the time the idea of just being able to slap something like this down in a blueprint with a few bits inside It's quite cool. Anyway, where am I before I start building? Uh, so I'm just north of Twin Lakes nice little area very uh I've, I've, Just as the Sun's rising. It's like 7 a.m. Or something. Um, there's actually a behemoth uh, super mutant down there, but he's pretty benign. He's all the way down there. There's a pond. Nice little area. Uh, so what I want to do is, for me, this looks like a nice little fisherman shack. And I wanted to have this attached to a load of uh, foundations, so it looks like a kind of... Sort of like... Yeah, like a little fishing pier, basically. That's the idea. And that, that's what we're going to do. Well, that's the thing. Um, incidentally, as well, because I'll, I'll, it's actually disappeared so I can show you a neat thing. I did tidy this area up before I when I was here earlier. Um, I'm just gonna do it again. If you're ever wanting to build an area and it's like there are bushes everywhere, you can just get foundations and just sort of clear nonsense. Because basically the stuff won't come back for a little bit. Uh, which is, is, is very handy to know. Um, right, okay. So this should be a very quick build because I've already built it like several times already. So we're gonna line this up. Um, I will disappear and, and actually decorate it quite a lot because um, a lot of the builds I've seen of this, people have gone kind of quite over, not overboard, but like they've been quite kind of wonderfully cluttered, shall we say, and I quite think that's quite cool. So I'm going to do a similar thing. But this is my little fishing pier, basically. Uh, so one thing I like about this um, is it's quite forgiving with how sheer you can place stuff next to it, which is pretty neat. So, like often with the lot of the Adam, well, just a lot of the stuff in general. Um, the, what should we call it? This one. Where is it? Have I gone by it because my brain's not functioning properly? Where is it? There it is. Um, the greenhouse dome being one of the worst offenders for this. Um, in the fact is that you can't place stuff really very close to each other, um, next to it, which is a bit of a ball lake. This one doesn't have that issue, which is quite nice. Uh, you may notice that I aligned that to this little line here, which gets it Slightly too far. God damn it. Nearly to that line. A little bit to the side. Like basically another another one of that bit there. Wow, I was nearly perfect the first time. Curse my hubris. Yeah. So what I can do is I can do this. I can do this, can't I? It's all nice and sheer. Oh, actually, there's a little bit of a gap there. Uh, do I care about... Yes, I do. Sorry. I do care about that. It's going to bother me. Plus, because I'm also going to turn this into a... Um... Oh, I didn't. Do you see that it does that? One thing this does is if you don't... The building thing. If you don't move things substantially enough, they don't actually move. They just kind of snap back to where you were before. So just as a thing. There we go. Look at that. That's worth it, isn't it? Loves it. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, it's quite forgiving with how you snap things onto it, which is, is uh, refreshing. That is too far. So I've got a whole little thing planned. This will be, as I said, a very, very swift one. Which I think is good because it suits the kind of structure. You will definitely see this in pretty much most of my future builds, or a lot of them. 
just because it's so handy. Um, especially with the introduction, uh, kind of how I envision this working out quite a bit. Um, is with the introduction of allies at your settlements. I can see this sort of turning into the ally home, um, which would be quite neat. I'm actually going to take that one off. Okay. Can I smash that? Uh, normally I'd have the snares, um, the snares? The stairs snapped on there, but I'm probably a little bit too far forward. We will manage... You can plug up this gap with anything. Um, literally anything stash boxes fit in there very nicely. But I'm going to use tyres because I, I have the tyres, so I'm going to do that. You can't stop me. Well, you could complain, but you can't stop me. <laughs> um, this set does come with its own door, by the way, and all of the doors snap onto it as well. So, you know, if you don't want this door, you know, for example, you can have that door if you want. The more traditional shack door. You can even have the Nuka-Cola vending machine door, which I think is now still available on the app store. <coughs> Uh, so that should be cool. Don't have the Rona, by the way. Don't have coronavirus. That was actually just generally a little bit of a tickle in my throat. I don't. I'm fine. <laughs> right, okay. So let's pop a few bits and pieces, and then I'm going to disappear. Um, so yeah, I really... like When I looked at this, I was like, that looks like a little fishing shack. And I do love some fishing shack. Because it gives you an excuse to put loads of stuff around. You can put kind of like, um, which is what I'm going to do, a water purifier down there. You can build on top as well, which is what I'm going to do in a sec. Two. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with it. I'm just get a few bits and pieces, just so it doesn't need just building this one very quick structure. And let's put a little bit of a banjo down here, because obviously we'd have a banjo there. You can play your banjo while, you know, looking out and stuff. Um, so I do have, um, and I've mentioned this before, just because, in case you're wondering where you get from. So I, um, obviously, because I do building on the channel, I did pick up both of the pre-order packs. So I have the mine, can, mine, mine Car Planter and this one as well. However, if you complete the main story, no spoilers on what happens, but you can eventually unlock your own planters, which are completely free. Well, I mean, like, they're free. They just use the in-game currency that you grind for um, that you can't buy. So, yes, if you don't want to pay for those, because you do have to pay for those, um, you can just complete the game. And then you can get some quite literally after you've done it. Um, this is my building character who hasn't actually completed the game yet, so I can't show you. Um, but they're pretty cool. Right. Let's have a loo. Where's my loo? I never normally use a loo, because I never know where to put it, whereas this one, it fits perfectly here. So, it's quite refreshing to have somewhere, you know, that my character can poop. Put a little bit of stuff on the side. As so I don't normally show the decoration because it takes me hours, but I, I actually know exactly what I'm placing on this. So I thought I'd just kind of add a little bit more life before I disappear and then spend two hours decorating this stupid thing. Um, let's have a bloke sitting down. Where's my sit down bloke? For those of you who are new to the game, like, you know, you've just got into it, and you notice that I have a lot of stuff with the little atom. Um, this is just because I've been playing it since launch, so a lot, most of this stuff always comes back, so don't feel like you've just missed out and can't get stuff. Um, and atoms can be ordered, you know, earned in-game, especially if you're new, because you'll earn absolutely shed loads, because you have all the achievements available. Um, so don't feel like you're missing out. But if you don't like the look of something, I highly recommend you don't pick it up, because... It's better to save those, you know, effective free atoms for, you know, cool shit. Um, I'm going to be doing a updated tips and tricks video uh, for building as the next video on the channel, by the way. Uh, so I've got a few things, one of which is I'm not doing it now, but you can actually place food really close together with a few sneaky techniques. Um, right, so last things, last things last. So I'm going to pop a generator on the roof. Pop a couple of generators on the roof, actually. How much do I need for you? It needs four power, so just two generators for the army. Uh, when this generator becomes available, highly, highly, highly. I don't usually recommend things exclusively from the store, but this generator is really good because it's it makes no noise. And you can kind of hide it places, which is what I'm going to do. It's a good generator, that. Can recommend... I'll organise these bits in a sec. I'm just going to sort out my, my water purifier because I want that 
generating water while I'm building. Because I don't play my building character enough, so they often actually run out of basic resources because I'm only here when I'm building. Uh, and I'm kind of trying to do the main quest and then. Actually, I might as well just use a big one. That's what she said, lol. Okay, uh, where's the tap? There it is. Oh, wait, no, actually, I can actually have two generators on. Um, the reason why, for those of you who are new, and uh, the reason why I'm jumping up very high is I have the marsupial mutation. Uh, which you can pretty much probably buy from most players. Um, if you go to a player camp, a lot of them will be having it on sale. It's quite expensive, but sometimes people are selling it on the cheap. Uh, one thing I like about this is because of the fact that you can't see it from the ground, I'm going to surround these generators with, like, decorations so you won't actually notice... I've got them running. Um, like, you can't see them from down here. I'm going to have bits and pieces. Right, anyway, I'm going to disappear, do a little bit of decoration on this, and we'll have a rather fancy-looking, complex, and very sexy-looking CD shed. One mo. And we are done. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It's such a cozy little structure. I've waited a little bit in the evening, so that way you can see the lighting. I've, obviously, because I've got, like, a lot of the lights... I've got the Christmas ones that we have, um, we've had twice available now, and I've just added lit little bits and pieces, but it is just such a gorgeous, lovely little structure. Um, actually, it's a disgustingly stanky looking shack, but in the context of uh, the Fallout universe, it's quite wholesome, I think. And yeah, as you can see, like, I mean, this didn't even take me as long, to me about an hour um, to kind of play around, but I just like, it's quite fun when it's busy. Um, and obviously the only thing is if you want to keep it to this kind of like quite restricted size, you don't have enough space to put everything. Like I only have, I don't have a weapons or an armor workbench. I just kind of kept the stuff I put, thought that was thematic. I probably could have made the room a little bit busier, but um, I wanted to be able to actually use that Tinker's workbench without any issue. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really cool. Um, absolutely no issue with snapping stuff up. I did have a little bit... Um, for some reason it wouldn't let me put some lights on there, but I have a sneaking suspicion it's because I had the stuff on the roof first, so you might want to put the lights on the inside first before you put stuff on the roof. Um, but other than that, it's, yeah, it's, it's just such a nice, I mean, just look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. It's so cool. I've got my love, it's, it's just, I'm very happy with this. And to give you an idea, like, like if I just quickly try and blueprint, like I can blueprint, like, a lot of stuff. Let's just say blueprint. I mean, I've pretty much blueprinted most stuff. Let's max. Let's max out. There we go. So we've got that. Um, and then let's just create blueprints to make a random one. And let's see if I can place that. It might not let me place it because of the thing, but we can try. Let's make old blueprints. That's that one. Some of them might not. You've got to be a little bit. Because obviously I've probably got some stuff that's floating or it might not have a... Okay, so I have to be a little bit careful. Because obviously it's probably to do with, for example, the stuff on the front. Um, but... Still, I think you can probably... if I, For example, if I kept everything so it was limited to the actual foundation stuff. So none of the, um, uh, none of the toilets, the loos and the bits. I think I probably have, would have no trouble considering this one place is fine. As long as you keep stuff on the foundation, you're good. And you can get a lot. Like, I got most of that structure right there. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. I really like this. Um, I'm gonna... What I'm probably gonna do is spend a little bit of time removing bits off the blueprint until I can get a blueprinted version of this. And then, because this is my building character and they place their base down quite a lot, um, this will be a good... For example, so my old, my previous kind of go-to base was this one here. Um, which is fine, we made a video on it, but let's be honest, this looks absolutely much better. Anyway, hope you guys like that, highly recommend it, it doesn't seem to be on a time limit at all, so chances are, um, if you're not ready to pick this up now, or you want to, you know, spend time earning the atoms in game, it's probably going to be around for quite a while, um, which is grand, and given the how Bethesda have been for the last year or so, chances are, it's going to come back and even if it does disappear and as I said there'll probably be some more structures like this and I will absolutely do videos on them uh, when they drop on the store but anyway as always follow me on Twitter at no response we'll have new videos up soon um, I have been playing quite a bit of Bannerlord recently 
which is funny because when I first played it, I absolutely hated the game, but since went back to it and now adore it, so potentially might have some videos on that. But until that point, you guys have a lovely week. You take care.